Storytime families and friends. My name is Kim and I work at the Stillwater Public Library in Stillwater, Minnesota. Today I'll be sharing one of the library's story shorts with you. And of course we'll need one of our favorite public friends to help us out, Little Baby Bear. but I don't hear any snoring today. Let me just turn him around. Oh my goodness, look at his sleeping bag. It is stretched so wide and he's kind of lumpy. I wonder if that's why he's not sleeping. Let me open his sleeping bag. And do we need to call him to wake him up or? Day. What, why is that? There, there's, there's a lot of stuff in your sleeping bag, isn't there? W were you able to sleep? You weren't. Well, why don't you show us what you brought and then we can get started. Oh, what does he have? Oh my goodness. Did you bring a pair of your shorts again this week? because this is one of Baby Bear's story shorts. And now you know that really means we're just doing a little part of story time, right? But you brought your shorts just to be silly. Yeah, thank you so much. But I, I noticed you have other things in there too. What, oh my goodness, it's, oh, oh, I think he needs some help. Here, I think it's stuck on your sleeping bag. Can you pull it out? going to share today. It's called Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. It is, and it's written and illustrated. The pictures um, are by Mo Willems, published by Hyperion. Yeah, and we're going to share it with permission today, aren't we? Now, this book is, is pretty small, though. Do you think the kids will be able to, to really see it through the computer like this? What, what was that? We should use a bigger, a bigger copy. This is quite a small copy. Where, where's the bigger one? Is that in your sleeping bag? No, it's, it's, it's over here. Okay, let me, let me just set this down for a moment. And oh, here is a bigger copy. This is a very small copy that I'm holding in my hand. And here, here is a bigger copy. So is, is this the copy that we will read today? No. You want us to read a bigger copy. Where? It, it, it's over there. Oh, let me, let me pull it over. Oh my goodness. Look at that very large sized copy of Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. So, oh my goodness, I'm gonna push it back over because we have a very small copy and we have a bigger copy that would be the medium size. And we have a very, very large copy, the biggest copy. So we have small, medium, and large. But we'll share the large one today. Okay, that makes a lot of sense, Baby Bear. Let's put these down here. And I'm gonna pull this one over a little bit closer because I was noticing that uh, your sleeping bag has something else in it down here that looks a little lumpy. And, oh, oh wait, I hear something. Listen. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? You did. Wait, wait, would you go get whoever's down there? Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. who is it, you guys? It's the pigeon from the book. Okay, well, how about, um, why don't I work with Pigeon just a little bit? So, oh, do you want to go take a tiny nap? Okay, we'll, we'll see you later for the letter of the day. Okay, say goodbye to the kids. Okay, snuggle down. All right. Oh my goodness. Well, Baby Bear was able to sleep a little.
little bit because Pigeon, we heard you see something from down in the bottom of the sleeping bag. Okay, could you tell me what it was? Oh, okay. How about if I write it out and then we'll talk about it again, okay? I'm going to set you down here because I'm going to write what the pigeon said on this speech bubble or word bubble, word balloon. We can see here in the big book, the title, the name of the book is written on this that looks like it's coming out of the author. And those are the words that he's saying. A speech bubble or a word bubble like this is often used in comic books or cartoons or fun books like this so we know which character is saying the words. I'm gonna write what the pigeon said right here. Pigeon said, let me drive the bus with an exclamation point to show he really, really means it. Let me drive the bus. I'm going to get Pigeon out again and Okay, Pigeon, we're ready. Is that what you said? It is. Okay, here we go. I'm going to light it up. You say it, Pigeon. Let me drive the bus. Did you hear that? Oh my goodness, Pigeon. Uh, the Pigeon really, really wants to drive the bus in this book, but we're not supposed to let him or Pigeon be. Bus, that would be pretty dangerous, but he really, really wants to. We are going to have to tell him something again and again. This will be our speech bubble, and what we're going to have to tell the pigeon, even though he doesn't want to hear it, is an O. No, and oh no, we're going to have to tell the pigeon no, he can't drive the bus, even when he begs, okay? We're going to see just a couple of other things um, when we look at this book. We're going, because we're going to see the speech bubbles like that, where it looks like the person is talking or the pigeon is talking. Sometimes when you look at a cartoon, you see like a dream bubble or a thought bubble. We're going to see one of those. And now these two are not in this particular book, but sometimes in a cartoon, you'll see a dotted line going around. That's a whisper bubble where the character is whispering. And sometimes you'll see jagged lines like this and that means the characters may be yelling or really excited about something, if you would see that, all right? So we are going to share this book together. Don't let the pigeon drive the bus. Words and Pictures by Mo Willems, published by Hyperion. And I'm going to slide it over and stand up behind it. It's a little bit easier to turn these very, very large pages. This huge book belongs to Baby Bear. Oh my goodness. And the pigeon says, I'm gigantic. I'm the bus driver. Listen, I've got to leave for a little while. 
So can you watch things for me until I get back? Thanks. Oh, and remember, don't let the pigeon drive the bus. No. Please! What do we tell him? No. I'll be careful! What do we tell him? No. I tell you what! I'll just steer! What do we tell him? No. No. True story! Are we going to let him drive the bus? What do we say? No. Oh, I'm back. You didn't let the pigeon drive the bus, did you? Did we? No, we didn't. No. Great. Thanks a lot. Dreaming again. Oh my goodness. And that is the end of that story. Don't 
let the pigeon drive the bus. Oh my goodness. What a funny, funny pigeon. Um, we had better check on the snail with the mail, who should be here any moment. Oh, hey snail. Yeah, thanks so much for coming again today. Did you bring the letter of the day? You did. For baby bear? Yeah. Um, could you say hi to the kids, please? Yeah. And where, where is the letter? It, it's in your mail pouch. All right. Um, how about if I, I help you here? And sure enough, it's to baby bear and storytime friends at Stillwater Public Library. That you're in the right place. Okay. Thanks so much for delivering that. And we'll, we'll have baby bear come, come out to get the mail. So do you want to say goodbye to everybody? Okay. Thank you so much again for coming today. All right. So, baby bear, we gotta get him back out again so that he can open his mail. Baby bear, are you awake? The letter of the day is here. Oh, <laughs> you're so excited, aren't you? So, it's here it is. Let's open it up. Uh, but if I do the little string part and We'll open it up together and see what today's letter is going to be that the mail snail brought. Oh my goodness. Let's let's get the little magnet board. I'm gonna hold it. And I see there is the big capital uppercase letter B. And here is the little lowercase letter B. And they do look a little different, don't they? They sure do. You'd like us to draw them, of course. Okay, so you hold that and let's we'll hold up our magic finger because we're gonna go down, around, and around. And again, of course, down, around, and around. The big capital letter B. And now, okay, we'll draw the little lowercase B. So you hold up, hold the magnet board again. So we're gonna go down, push up, and around. And again, okay, down, push up, and around. The little lowercase letter B. And should we sing, should we sing the song? Okay, why don't, I'm gonna put this down, and you can help me hold the, oh, ah, is there something going on with that? I think it, it's upside down. Let's turn it the other way. So, when we get to letter B, what do you want us to do? You want us to go, yay! for letter B. Okay, we will do it for the letter of the day. All right, so are you are you ready? Okay, let's sing. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all together. A, B, C, oh, B, we almost didn't say it. Okay, yay! B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Oh, it was that fun. And there was the letter, the date, letter B. And I almost forgot to say yay, didn't I? Yeah, and B is for many, many different wonderful words. Some of the kids' names start with letter B and do. And did you bring anything that started with letter B? Just one thing. I suspected he might want to bring something to snuggle with today. Oh, what did he bring? A bear. Because B is for bear and B is for baby bear. Why don't you snuggle down and here is your blanket, fluff, fluff blanket. And I'm gonna just snuggle you down because we're gonna do the Bye Bye Butterfly song. And why don't you listen and maybe you can go to sleep. Okay, are you ready? We're gonna sing our Bye Bye Butterfly song. So get your hands ready like a butterfly and I have our butterfly puppet right here. Here we go everyone. Bye-bye, butterfly. Bye-bye, butterfly. See you later, alligator. See you later.
later alligator took it away. In a while, crocodile. In a while, crocodile. Blow kiss, jellyfish. Blow kiss, jellyfish. Pepe gorilla. So long, King Kong. So long, King Kong. Kangaroo. To the loo, kangaroo. To the loo, kangaroo. Out the door, dinosaur. Out the door, dinosaur. Gotta go, buffalo. Gotta go, buffalo. See you soon, raccoon. See you soon, raccoon. Here's a hug, ladybug. Here's a hug, ladybug. That's the end, my friend. That's the end, my friend. Thank you so much for joining me today and Baby Bear for one of his virtual story shorts. I hope we see you next week. Bye-bye, friends. I miss you. Bye-bye.